you can right now see our rising wedge pattern on the 15 minute time frame actually broke to the downside and beautifully also actually hit our very nice price target around 45,300 US dollars. In this Bitcoin price prediction video, we are actually going to talk about the range Bitcoin is right now actually forming. We are going to talk about the price targets and also, of course, about the resistances if we are potentially actually going to right now see a pull to the upside. Applying right now the range on our specific chart, what you are actually going to see, we are going to zoom in a little bit on the 15 minute time frame. We have a very nicely respected resistance level around 46,300 US dollars on the Bitcoin chart and also very, very nicely respected support level around 45,400 US dollars also here on the Bitcoin chart. So clearly we can actually right now say, our highs on Bitcoin are actually forming a resistance level right here. And exactly at our highs, if we would right now actually go on the daily time frame, measure the volume from yesterday, our previous day value area high, volume resistance level for Bitcoin, it's also going to be literally exactly right here. And because of that, this area right here is right now going to be resistance around 46,300 US dollars. And right now I'm actually going to show you how potentially you could actually be looking to trade this specific price action as of right now on Bitcoin. So the thing is, at the bottom of the range, usually we could be definitely more interested, maybe even going with another long position. And let me right now show you why this support area right here, it's actually a very nice and very important support level for Bitcoin because remember, already yesterday we were mentioning that Bitcoin does also have its previous high exactly right here around 45,200 US dollars. So potentially right now, if we are going to see another pull to the downside to the bottom of the range, literally where we are at the moment, there could be potential swing failure of our previous low, maybe even the swing failure of this previous low right here. What does that mean? People that are holding their long positions, they are setting their stop losses below the previous lows. Potentially then of course, we could actually see a bounce to the upside here on the Bitcoin price. And because right now, because we are at the bottom of the range, where we are at the moment, I would potentially only be interested, maybe even going with another long position here on the Bitcoin price. And later in the video, I'm actually going to be showing to you why this specific area for Bitcoin, it's actually very, very important. But let's talk about right now, where is actually going to be our resistance level. If right now we are actually going to see a bounce to the upside here on the Bitcoin price, because right now, if we would apply on our specific chart, our ascending channel, I was already showing to you already yesterday. So the thing is right now, if Bitcoin is actually going to see another pull to the upside, clearly you can actually see that our diagonal resistance level from a bigger ascending channel, it's also actually going to be, let's say around 47,200 US dollars. So definitely this area here is going to be our resistance level and also our pitchfork diagonal level. It's actually also going to be around the specific area. Once again, around 46,700 US dollars. So if right now Bitcoin is going to see a rotation from the bottom of the range to the upside. Here we are going to have our potential pitchfork resistance level, our diagonal re uh, resistance level right here from the SNE channel. And of course, there could then be a deviation from our range. Potentially here, you could then of course be looking to maybe even go with another short position here on the Bitcoin price. And before right now, I actually talk about this specific support level here on Bitcoin. If you haven't already, please do smash the like button because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 600 likes. Make sure the like button down below, actually this turn blue, it is literally going to take you one second. Thank you very much. So so let's talk about right now why we are seeing some kind of a form of a consolidation, first of all, right here. And then we are going to talk about our support level where we are at the moment on Bitcoin, because most probably you actually know. On yesterday's live stream, we were definitely mentioning that we have two very important yearly levels for Bitcoin where we are at the moment. We have our yearly volume weighted average price right here. And also exactly where we are at the moment, we are actually also going to have our yearly Fibonacci pivot point. So now you can actually see that our yearly Fibonacci pivot points for Bitcoin are literally exactly right here. So where we are at the moment, we can actually see some kind of a form of a consolidation around the resistance level, which would actually be considered being another bullish indication for Bitcoin. So potentially, of course, we could continue our way to the upside, potentially even breaking the range to the upside, because the thing is right now, 
if we pulled into this specific range with a pump to the upside. The range right here, it's actually a form of, of a consolidation around our resistance level. And I would definitely right now like to say we have a higher probability of breaking this specific range, of course, in the future to the upside. And as I said before, our first take profit area or our first important resistance level for Bitcoin is going to be around 46,700 US dollars, as you can see right here. But as of right now, Bitcoin is actually at the support level. So let's talk about right now why potentially we could be expecting a bounce literally where we are at the moment. Because if we are right now actually applying on our specific chart, the volume that we already actually formed yesterday, you're actually going to see our previous day value area low for Bitcoin, it's actually going to be, let's say, around 45,000 US dollars right here. And exactly at this specific area, as you can see right now on the chart, we are also going to have our diagonal support level from our ascending tra channel right here. Our previous low for Bitcoin, it's also actually going to be around the specific area. And on top of that, our dynamic support level, our 50 EMA on the hourly time frame, it's actually also going to be exactly right here. So the thing is right now, definitely the market is not perfect. So potentially, of course, we could be expecting maybe even a deviation from our smaller range here, looking on the 15 minute time frame. So if we are right now going to see even a bigger pull to the downside, potentially we can actually say it is going to be a deviation like we also actually formed right here, pull to the downside, maybe even towards 45,000 US dollars on the Bitcoin chart, where potentially you could actually maybe be even interested going with another long position here on the Bitcoin chart. And before right now, I show you another other support level if this support level right here is actually going to see a break to the downside if you actually want to trade bitcoin or ethereum below the like button in the description you can get up to 1000 us dollars for free in trading bonus on bybit leverage trading exchange if you want to get even a bigger bonus on femix you can get up to 1200 us dollars if you are going to sign up with this specific link after initial deposit on the platform you get the bonus you can trade with the bonus and then of course also withdraw the profits to your own wallet so where is going to be another support level if the range right now for bitcoin it's actually going to see a break to the downside because most probably you already know if we are applying our support and resistances our daily levels on the chart our daily support level for bitcoin is going to be 43,000, let's say 800 us dollars but this area right here in my opinion it's actually not that of an important level as of right now because we are actually also going to have our golden pocket a little below right now our diagonal support level the thing is right now if our ascending channel that we are forming right now here is going to see a break to the downside. If we are going to see the break of our diagonal support level right here to the downside, of course, this is then going to be a bearish indication. But the thing is, I would personally still not really be that interested going with a short position, even if a diagonal support level right here is going to get broken to the downside. Why? Because actually it is still a support level for Bitcoin, could still be, of course, a potential deviation. I would much rather potentially go with a short position right now if Bitcoin is actually right now going to see the break of the diagonal support level to the downside, maybe to our golden pocket, a bearish retest before a continuation to the downside, maybe to our daily 43,800 US dollars. But primarily, Primarily right now, where we are and interested going with another short position, as I actually said before, around our pitchfork, around 46,700. There we are actually going to have, of course, a diagonal level from the ascending channel and also the pitchfork and potentially, of course, also that could be then a deviation from our range. So definitely we do have some kind of a resistance level if we are going to go higher. But nevertheless, right now, remember Bitcoin is actually right now still in the uptrend and it's much better right now to start actually once again be looking to go with another long position around the support levels. Maybe already, of course, at the bottom of the range where we are at the moment or, of course, if we are going to go a little bit lower, maybe even around 45,000 us dollars here on the bitcoin chart and also right now if we would go on different indicators such as the magd indicator such as the rsi indicator and also such as the money flow indicator what you are going to see right now on the four hour time frame that definitely actually does look like we are maybe even forming some kind of the bearish divergences because on the four hourly clearly we are making higher highs right here lower high on the money flow indicator, lower high, actually lower high on the MACD, lower high on the money flow indicator, definitely, of course, would be a bearish divergence. And the exact same thing is happening also on the two hour time frame. We are forming lower highs on the RSI, lower highs on money flow, lower highs also on MACD indicator, higher highs on the price action of Bitcoin, which is definitely going to give us a bearish divergence right here, which is definitely not really a bullish indication. But the thing we all actually usually say, trade the charts or actually first markets 
structure first, indicator second. And because right now we are around the bottom of the range, because we do have some kind of the support level a little below us, I would definitely maybe right now even be more interested going with another long position here on the Bitcoin chart. Yes, it is right now also true that, for example, if you would go on the RSI indicator on the daily time frame, definitely we are being around the over, uh, overbought region and also, of course, forming a bearish divergence. But nevertheless, right now, it is the range and trade the range until it breaks. Once again, at the bottom of the range, we are only interested to go with a potential long opportunity. We are actually not looking to actually trade the breakout because usually, of course, this breakout traders from the range right here are actually uh, usually going to get wrecked. Of course, the thing is the last trade, if you're going to be trading the range, is of course going to be a losing trade. But all of those trades in between, of course, are going to be profitable trades. So once again, we are at the bottom of the range, even if we are right now going to go a little bit lower, potential deviation, where I would definitely be more interested going with another long position here on the Bitcoin chart. If you haven't already right now, please do smash the like button because the goal for this video would actually be to reach at least 600 likes. Right now, you can actually watch one of those two videos that are popping up on your screen. Thank you for watching and peace out.